In this video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to build my own DIY light dome that is almost four times cheaper than buying an expensive aperture dome light. So before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button if you'd like to see more DIY videos like this and learn how to be a filmmaker on a budget while still achieving amazing results with your gear. All right, so to start off, let's talk about why you'd need a dome light. Dome lights create soft light. Soft light wraps around your subject and doesn't create any harsh shadows, whereas hard light does create those harsh shadows. I'm gonna tell you something that took me years of learning on my own to figure out, and this is the secret of how to achieve soft light. Soft light is created by getting a big light source and bringing that light source as close to your subject as possible. Now notice that I said big light source and not bright light source, because brightness has no effect on how soft or hard your light is. A lot of people think that brighter means softer, but that's not true. The only way to achieve soft light is to get a big light source like this dome light and bring that light source as close to your subject as possible. The further away your light source is and the smaller your light source is, the harder the light will be. So take the sun for example. Even though the sun is huge, because it's so far away from the earth it creates hard light. But on a cloudy day, the sun hits the clouds and diffuses the light, making the light source bigger and closer, which makes the light soft. So when you're trying to figure out which type of light to use, whether it's hard or soft light, you need to know what kind of look you're going for. Soft light is the most flattering for the human face because it doesn't create any harsh shadows like raccoon eyes, and it lights the face evenly, making it look beautiful and pleasing to the eye. So if you're shooting a fashion video, a comedy movie or TV show, or any other type of video that you want to be funny or beautiful and not harsh or dramatic, you want to use use soft light. Now on the other hand, if you want your video to be intense and dramatic, like a dramatic action or horror scene, you'd want to use hard light to create those harsh shadows. So for me, filming sit down interviews, videos like this for YouTube, and tutorials for my online course, I need soft light. And a light dome creates that soft light that I need. So with all that in mind, all I needed to create a light dome is pretty much just a light source and a soft box that can make that light source bigger. So I already had two bicolored light panels which cost $250 and they come with light stands and batteries. I went to Amazon and I was able to find a $10 dual camera mount tripod bracket that I could stick both of my lights on, a $40 softbox, and a $10 umbrella holder. So step one is to screw the umbrella holder on top of the light stand, then screw the dual camera mount tripod bracket onto the light holder, screw the light panels into the dual camera mount tripod bracket, and then push the lights as far back into the umbrella as possible. Then you just feed the light cords down the bottom of the dome, plug them in, and bam! A DIY light dome that looks friggin' sweet and gives you amazing soft light which makes your images look stunning. This whole setup cost me less than $350, which is insane thinking that if I were to buy an aperture light with an additional light dome, it would have cost me around $1,300. So then that begs the question, is it worth it? And to be honest, there are pros and cons of having this DIY light setup. The pros are that it's way cheaper, the light is just as soft, and the light is bicolored, but the cons are that it's a bit more clunky and harder to assemble, and it's also not nearly as bright as what an aperture light could get to. Now, this light is plenty bright for what I need it to do. When I film, I turn off all my indoor lights so that I have complete control over my lighting. But if you're ever filming outdoors in the shade and you would need a super bright dome light to help you get some fill light onto your subject's face, I would recommend going with the aperture light because it's much brighter. So if you're already filming in really bright sunny conditions and you need extra light to fill your subject's face, I would go with the aperture light. So that's a risk that you'll always have to take when making your own DIY gear, is that most of the time it won't be as good as the competition. But if you're really tight on money and you're not able to afford the aperture light, this DIY dome light is incredible and has really impressed me. Now, if you're looking for an even cheaper dome light that still gets the job done, I would recommend getting the Godox SL60W, which is only $170 on Amazon. I personally haven't used that light, so I don't know how efficient it is, or how loud the fan is, or how bright it gets, but I have heard a lot of great things about it as an affordable option for light domes as well. So if you'd like to see more filmmaking DIY videos like this one, be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment below, and if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Join the YouTube family. But that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.